All right, this is a short story about me and raccoons. Back in 1958, 1950, um, 1958, 1958, we had a pet raccoon, we called him Bandit. Bandit, I remember Bandit from 1958. Um, he would, um, He'd stay inside, outside. He did whatever he wanted to. We lived on the river. And, uh, but if you left the raccoon inside, the next day when you woke up, the, all the cabinets inside the kitchen would be opened up. The sugar, he'd get into the sugar. He'd tear the sugar bag open. And, uh, he'd tear up two or three things. Right now, and I'm filling this here water jug back up. But, uh, like I said, 1958. 1958 we had a raccoon we called him bandit and um you get the all this ready for the raccoons and black spot whoever but um that was 1958 and then about 1960 um 1960 to 1960 1966 we would take an um we would hunt raccoons. We would take the coon dogs, raccoon dogs, uh, the hound dogs, and we would go to the, um, in the middle of the night, we'd go out there and hunt raccoons at night time. And um, the dog, the raccoon, the dogs, they would uh, bathe the raccoons. They'd bathe the raccoons. They would, uh, the raccoons, they'd run up a tree. The raccoons would bathe them. And we'd take a 22 and shotgun or a 20, uh, 410 shotgun, and we'd shoot them out of the trees. And then we would um, take the raccoons and we'd skin them. We'd take them and uh, light a fire, and we'd after we killed them, we'd light a fire and we'd singe the hair, singe the hair, burn them. That would kill all the mites and fleas, ticks, and everything that was on the raccoons. And uh, we would uh, take the raccoons. We'd, we'd go through the woods at the middle of the night, take a flashlight, guns, and uh, we'd hunt raccoons at night time. And we would kill them, and we'd take them home. We'd, we'd skin them, we'd burn them, put them in the fire. We'd, after we kill them, we'd burn them in the fire. And uh, we'd gut them put them in the fire and burn them up, burn the hair, singe the hair, kill the mites and all the uh, insects and things off of them. Then we would skin the raccoons and we'd eat them. We'd take raccoon, we'd take raccoons and make raccoon and rice, you know, raccoon, um, barbecued raccoon, raccoon by herself. Raccoon, I love raccoon. Raccoon has good meat. I love eating raccoons. I did love eating them. I don't eat them no more. But 1960 something or other, we would eat them. And uh, but uh, like I say, I, like, like I say, 1958 something like that, we had a pet raccoon. I remember him. Uh, we called him Bandit. But 1960, um, about 1960 to 1965 something like that, we would hunt them, go to the swamps, take a flashlight, shine them up. Maybe five or six, ten of us would, you know, five or six dogs, raccoon dogs, hound dogs. We would hunt them. And raccoon run up a tree. We'd take a, a shotgun, uh, 410, 22. We'd shoot the raccoons, and then we'd get them up. And we would burn them in a fire, make a fire that night. We'd gut them, make a fire, and cut down the, uh, and uh, skin them. And then we would eat them, eat them. Raccoon meat is good meat to eat. It's been a long time since I eat them. But uh, that's my story about raccoons. I love raccoons. And uh, I don't know if you ever watched Jerry Clower. Jerry Clower on uh, hunting raccoons. But that's what we used to do. We used to go out and hunt raccoons. 
We will shoot them, kill them, eat them. I love raccoon. They're good meat. I love eating them. Um, raccoon and rice is one of my favorite. It was one of my favorite things to eat. But uh, I don't eat them anymore. I don't eat them anymore. We're in the 90s, 2000s, whatever year this year. We're in the 2000s now. But like I say, in the 1950s and 1960s, we used to hunt raccoons. Raccoons would run up a tree. We'd shoot them. They'd fall out of the tree. The dogs, they, you know, raccoon. We had dogs, hound dogs, and the hound dogs, they would, you know, um, hunt them up. And in the middle of the night, we'd go through the swamps in the middle of the night, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning, and uh, hunt raccoons. And uh, raccoon, they, they, they're good meat, they're good eating. I used to love them. And uh, they go to black spot. But uh, now I don't eat raccoon anymore. I would, I would eat a raccoon, but I would not kill a raccoon to eat it. But uh, I love raccoons. I love all animals. And uh, just like I love fish, I love deer. I used to deer hunt for many, 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 many years. I used to fish many, many, many years. But yeah, that's what we used to do back 1950s and 1960s. We take the uh, the coon dogs, raccoon dogs. The raccoon dogs go out there and bay up the raccoons, and we, like I say, we'd just shoot them and eat them. And uh, back in the 50s and the 60s, that's what people did. You know, that was just normal life. And some days a day, some people eat raccoons a day, like you know, it's nothing to it. But uh, you see that blue jay. But, uh, but, yeah, that's just a short story about me and raccoons. Like I said, 1956, 1958, we had a pet raccoon called Bandit. He, he, he come inside, outside. We lived on the river, you know, so he, raccoon, he could hunt what he wanted. And he'd come inside, outside, do what he wanted. In the 1960s, we'd hunt them, you know, we'd shoot them, kill them, eat them. And uh, that was good meat. Raccoon and rice was one of my favorite things back in the 1960s. Raccoon, rice, deer, 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 and uh, um, goat, deer, goat meat. Yeah, I don't know if you have it. Deer, wild deer, and goat meat. Deer, wild deer is a, a wild taste, but goat meat is a sweet taste. So if you mix goat meat and deer meat together, you got sweetened. Sweet and, um, sweet and sour, sweet and tangy, whatever you call it. But that was good eating, you know. Back in the 50s and the 60s, we eat goat milk. We drank goat milk, eat goats, you know, and uh, cows. We had cows. When I was growing up, we had cows, chickens, hogs. Um, we had cows, chicken, hogs, and uh Two or three more things that we used to raise to eat, and uh, I lived on. A, I lived in the country back in the 50s and the 60s. When I was growing up, w once a week, the uh, milkman would come by in a pickup in a, in a, in a uh, dairy truck. We lived on a dirt road, and we would stand outside, and um, the milkman would stop. You know, they would ever, the milkman would stop at all the houses, and sell the milk to everybody now you go to a grocery store but when i was growing up the milkman he would stop by your house you know every week or you know whatever and um i lived next to i lived um next to a um pet dairy pet dairy was a um pet dairy was a um a milk company as to where they they had milk, ice creams and stuff, you know, milk, uh, pet dairy, boarding, um, May, May, Mayfield, and a lot of, um, but anyway, I was just going to tell you a short story about me and raccoons, where uh, I grew up with raccoons in 1956, 1958, we had a pet in 1960s, and up to 6, 1968, 
we would hunt raccoons. We'd kill them and eat them. They was good meat. We had, we used to raise chickens. We, you know, we'd raise chickens, eat the eggs. We'd kill them, you know, eat the chickens. We'd raise cows, hogs. And we'd, you know, raise them up. We'd kill them and eat them, have them butchered. We would butcher myself. We used to hunt deer. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's been a long time. I'm over 70 years old. So that was a long time ago. But a short story about me and raccoons. Now and I love raccoons. I don't eat them no more. Uh, but anyway, short story about me and the raccoon. I'm going to stop this video. Stop.